Welcome to Evening Prayer in the Watling Valley Partnership, Sunday the 12th of December 2021, the third Sunday of Advent. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, Lord, make make haste haste to help help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that that we we may may behold your your power power and and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed Blessed be be God God forever. forever. Our hymn is Hark a Herald Voice is Calling. Hark a herald voice is calling, Christ is nigh, it seems to say. Cast away the dreams of darkness, O ye children of the day. Lo, the Lamb so long expected comes with pardon down from heaven. Let us taste with tears of sorrow, one and all to be forgiven. Honour, glory, virtue, merit to the Father and the Son with the co-eternal Spirit while unending ages run. Amen. Opening prayer. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 50 verses 1 to 6 The Lord, the most mighty God, has spoken and called the world from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth Our God comes and will not keep silent. Consuming fire goes out before him and a mighty tempest stirs about him. He calls the heaven above and the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me, my faithful, who have sealed my covenant with sacrifice. Let the heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Glory Glory to to the the Father, and to the the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and and shall be forever. forever. Amen. The scripture reading is Isaiah chapter 35, verses 1 to 10. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad, the desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus it shall blossom abundantly, and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God, He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. 
then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp, the grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there, and it shall be called the Holy Way. The unclean shall not travel on it, but it shall be for God's people. No traveller, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there, and the ransomed of the Lord shall return, and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. To the one who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might, for ever and ever. Amen. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared. In your word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. The Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. Our intercessions. Watchful at all times, let us pray for strength to stand with confidence before our Maker and Redeemer. That God may bring in his kingdom with justice and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. That God may establish among the nations his sceptre of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. That we may seek Christ in the scriptures and recognise him in the breaking of the bread. Let us pray to the Lord. That God may bind up the brokenhearted, restore the sick, and raise up all who have fallen. Let us pray to the Lord. That the light of God's coming may dawn on all who live in darkness and the shadow of death. Let us pray to the Lord. That with all the saints in light, we may shine forth as lights for the world. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Let us commend the world which Christ will judge to the mercy and protection of God. The Collect of the Day O Lord Jesus Christ, who at your first coming sent your messenger to prepare your way before you, grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, that at your second coming to judge the world we may be found an acceptable people in your sight. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless and thank the Lord. Thanks Amen. be to God.